My name is Jennifer Healy, and I'm a research scientist at Intel Labs, where I study the future of transportation. As a manufacturer of world-class chipsets, Intel is extremely interested in autonomous driving. What we're looking into as a solution is a DSRC radio, which is a short-range radio, kind of like a walkie-talkie between cars, and that communicates their position via GPS. They each also have cameras on them to visually identify the other person's position. And using this combination of triangulated GPS and camera data, you have a very accurate idea of where the other car is. And right now, we're testing out that theory at the National Taiwan University, where we have several robot cars that are all wired up with DSRC radio. Now imagine cars are going down the road together collectively, and they're talking to each other. The cars are all tracking each other's positions and velocities, and they're all very good friends. They're all keeping their safe stopping distance. But then something happens, like a sinkhole just opens up. Now the cars all have to react. And that's the idea that cars could be communicating with each other in a group. They could decide, well, you know, your car really has the best brakes, you could stop the fastest, your car has the best acceleration, you could get out of the way, and they can make a sort of a collective plan about how to move out of the way. And so that's M to M, machine to machine sensing. So that would be my car communicating to your car. Uh, I'm going this fast, um, I'd like to turn left, uh, I'm here. Right now, what we're doing is, is just transmitting position and velocity. But as we move towards the future, we're looking towards transmitting information about driver's state, information about the abilities of the cars, and information about the intended routes of the cars. It's my personal belief that once these sensing systems get to a certain level, we won't have to design cars to crash. What happens when crashes don't happen? I mean, that's, that's the dream. Intel is very committed to a better future for everyone and through computation, we can make this happen. I think this has the potential to completely transform transportation.